Now that we've performed an audio export of our mastered project with our maximizer set at 25%, let's compare that file to some of the other commercial recordings that we did earlier in this video and see how well it holds up to the volume of a commercial recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the remaster comparison that I had before. I'm going to activate that project and then I'm going to add one audio track in stereo and I'm going to change the name of that track to just 25 to represent the 25% maximize that I had the maximizer set to and then I'm going to import that audio file into this project so I'm going to go to the audio folder and do a quick search for that file there's our 25 file so let's go ahead and insert that into the project and then I'm going to highlight that audio segment and I'm going to go under the audio pull-down menu and do a statistics analysis. When I look at the values, I can see that the average volume is at about minus 13 dB below zero. And that's pretty good for a commercial recording. Let's find out how that compares to the remastered version of another commercial recording. Let's go and do a statistical analysis of that and then put the two side by side. And we can see that the average volume of that commercial CD was about 12 dB below zero. Ours is about 13 dB below zero. And that's going to be a pretty close comparison volume-wise between those two files. And then if we do a statistical analysis of that original file, the one that was originally mastered back in 1984, let's do a statistics on that and compare all three of those to one another. And we can see that the original version of that song in 84 was almost 20 dB below zero for an average volume. The newer, more modern remaster of that song is 12 dB below zero, and ours is about 13 dB below zero. So we're getting pretty close in average volume to what an average amount of volume is on a commercial recording these days. So we've had a pretty successful audio mastering project so far. However, if you or your client still want to make the song sound louder than this, you could do another mix down with the maximizer set at a higher value. Let's quickly do that a couple of times. Let's quickly switch back to our project and I'm going to type in the value of 60 into the optimize control and then I'm going to do another audio mix down but I'm going to call this export sack lunch test 60 and export that. And then let's do the same export but now let's set the optimizer at 90% and do another audio export, change the file name to sack lunch test 90 and export that. And when that export is complete, let's now switch back to our remaster comparison and bring those two new mix downs into the project and do a statistical analysis on those as well. So I am going to add two new audio tracks to our project, both of which are in stereo. I'm going to call this one 60 to represent the 60% on the maximizer. I'm going to call this one 90 to represent the 90%. And on this track, I'm going to import the 60% file. So let me just do a quick search. There's the 60%. And then on this track, I'm going to import the 90% file. Now I'm going to change my screen magnification a bit so that I can see all three of those mix down files. And I'm going to do a statistical analysis on the first one with the maximizer set at 25. So under the audio pull down menu, hit statistics. There's our 25 file. Then I'm going to select the 60 and do a statistical analysis on that. And then finally, I'm going to go to our 90% file. And now let's look at how all three of them compared to one another. Here is our original file, which is at about minus 13 dB of average volume. The maximizer set at 60 gets our average volume up to about 12 dB below zero. So that's getting even closer to that commercial recording. And then finally, with the maximizer set at a whopping 90%, our average volume is minus 10 dB below zero. 
With the average volume at minus 10 dB, there's only 10 dB of difference between the softest signal that is in that audio file and the loudest signal, so there isn't a really wide dynamic range. And this is where we have that philosophical conflict of how loud do we really make the apparent volume of an exported file. Well, a lot of people do several different exports. They'll do one at an average level, and then a louder level, and then a really ludicrously loud level, and then they can choose which one they want to release on the CD, or upload to their website, or sell on an online music store. So use your ears and your best judgment to determine exactly where to set the maximizer's percentage on the export to determine the average volume of your mastered file. Now I want to talk to you about my four mixdown philosophy.